Part of the fight that was most talked about and, and went viral was the supposed low blow. Frank Warren is ready to appeal the decision. I've looked it back on TV. It's on the waistband of the shorts, which is above a legitimate target area. It signifies where we wear our belt on that hip line. Right. So that is the low blow point, the hip line. There. Right. Look, the referee ruled it was a low blow. So it's up to the referee to rule that. We don't know. I thought that the blow was a legal blow. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the Blake of Spirit channel. Yes, I know it's been such a long time. I think it's been like four weeks since I did my last one. But if you've been following my Instagram, which you should have been doing, or if you haven't, go uh, click on the link in the description down below. I've been on a massive holiday for the past five weeks. I went like, on a trip around Europe, interrailing, uh, going on trains, staying in dodgy hotels and uh cold campsite uh i did all of that during the past five weeks and it was amazing and i was thinking about doing some videos whilst i was out there but shitty hotel wi-fi you know uh, I, I came back on saturday night um i thought oh i can't wait you know to follow the usic versus the bois match i thought i was a lot more competitive fight but going into it um and a lot of people giving it credit for Dubois, very up and coming uh, heavyweight. I was actually surprised that Usyk uh, even was willing to take it on, which to me just shows how much of a true champion is. Dubois being a young and hungry, uh, aggressive fighter. Yes, he's, he's lost to Joe Joyce, um, but I think people forget that he had, he's had quite a bad uh, injury. I think it was like around his, his orbital bone. But of course, the boxing gods had to make it as controversial and as uh, non-smooth, as rough as possible because as anything goes by in boxing, the finest no ever sport in the world, it never goes to, it never goes to plan. It very rarely does it go to plan. That's why 2023 has been such a good year. But again, to me, the biggest story of Usyk versus the Bois should be the ridiculous state of boxing and how it's run. Of course, I'm talking about the controversy around the low blow. Was it a low blow or wasn't it a low blow? Now, before I tell you what I think, I'm just gonna go through the process that I went through over the past couple of days uh, that determined the outcome uh, to what I think happened. Um, obviously, it would have been great for fellow Brit to win it, but I, you know, I've got nothing towards Usyk. Oh, he's a fantastic, I think he's a fantastic fighter, all-time great, no doubt about it. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, which rules uh, should have this bout followed. You know, obviously, there's four main bodies: it's the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF. They're the four main bodies, and. Daniel Dubois was the WBA mandatory challenger for this fight. So the WBA ordered him to fight Usyk. He went to purse bids. Usyk's promotion, KT Promotions, I think it is. They won the purse bids, so on and so forth. Just a normal process. Got the date sorted in Rockleff, Poland. All good. So the referee will be a WBA referee. Even though all the other ones are on the line, it'll be a WBA referee. He'll, he should, anyway, go by the WBA rules. Rules for familiarity. Each boxer, promoter, manager, and boxer's agent is under the obligation to know, so they must know this, and they must be, and be familiar with all association rules, including, but not limited to, those regarding time periods, considering obligation to fair and compete for title, blah, 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 blah. If a cha champion fails to comply, any of the rules, chairman may declare his title vacant, likewise, same for the contender. Um, so yeah, everyone involved in a WBA title fight, so in, this, in the Usyk vs Dubois fight, that includes Frank Warren, Queen or George Warren, Queensbury, uh, Daniel Dubois' team, obviously Usyk's team, Usyk's promoter. Everyone should be aware um, of what they're going into. They have an obligation to know, so they have to know, they have to be familiar with it. Now, I'm on to the contest rules bit, and this is where it really gets down to the nitty gritty of the whole protector thing. In case of an accidental low blow or other accidental blow after the bell, the referee shall determine if the boxer who received the blow may continue the fight. Because the protector used by a boxer 
So that's the thing that's meant to go below the navel, below your belly button, of the guard that you see on them when you see it in sparring clips or whatever, it goes all around uh, their waist. It's con because the protector used by box is considered sufficient protection, a bout cannot be terminated by a low blow. So right there, it's saying that if you hit uh, the protector, it is a low blow. It, it can't be terminated by it because they say it should that should be enough protection. That's what it's there for. But it, it, that there, to me, I'm interpreting that as it is assumed that that is a low blow if you hit the protector. Uh, if the capacity of the box has not been dangerous or below, then the referee shall order the fight to resume after an interval, which is subject to the referee's discretion. But, will, but which shall not exceed five minutes. And it didn't. When Dubois did hit Usyk, and Usyk was down, I think it was, from what I've read, I think it was on BBC, they said it was like three minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, a boxer unable or unwilling to resume the fight after their referee orders him to resume fighting shall lose the fight by TKO. So if Usyk didn't, even though the referee deemed it a low blow on the night, if Usyk didn't get up after those five, uh, those five minutes, then he would have lost, and Dubois would be the unified, the new world, unified world champion. But then, just this is where I got a bit confused, even by the WBA's rules, because if a boxer is accidentally injured and cannot continue fighting before the completion of the fourth round, the fight shall be declared a technical draw. As well, I just don't understand why would you put that down there. You might as well just say in the top bit, oh, but this only applies um, from uh, five rounds onwards. I, I don't know. It's not ha it's, it has not got to do with this particular incident because it did happen in the fifth round, the blow. But still, to me, that didn't make any sense when I was reading it. Just a bit confusing. So, for example, if Dubois hit Usyk, same shot in the fourth, the third round, and Usyk didn't get up in those five seconds, then it'd be a be a draw, right? But anything after that, and if you didn't, then do um, then Dubois would have won, I'm presuming. Also, another reason why um, the referee on the night he must have thought it was an accidental one, because uh, he didn't he didn't take any points of Dubois. Like he would have taken if he thought I was a uh, he meant to really uh, hurt him in the groin area deliberately then he would have given that, he would have taken a point or maybe even two points off of him, but he didn't. So he, that, that meaning, it, he must have thought it was an accident. So now I'm on page 30 of the WBA rules and I'm on the bit about uh, the protector, which is like the main arguing point of this whole row that's going on. It's like, did it hit the protector or did it not hit, hit the protector? If it hit the protector, then is that, that, is that still a body shot or is that not a body shot? As I mentioned earlier, they say even if they hit the protector, that's still a low blow. It says that. It says that in the WB rules. It's sufficient protection, so they expect you to still carry on fighting, but it is still a low blow. That well, that's what I interpreted from that earlier. I don't really understand how you can interpret that any other way. On to the protector bit. A protector belt and a cup shall be required for boxers participating in sanctioned fights. Like this one, this was a WBA sanctioned fight, they ordered it. The protector shall not exceed the navel, which is the belly button, or the superior anterior iliac spine, which is like that band of the trunks uh, that goes around. The, this is the most important bit. The trunks shall go one inch over the protector. So there is a one inch gap between the top of the protector and the trunks. I interpreted that. Boxers shall have the trunks and protector available at the weighing ceremony so that the supervisor or referee may approve or disapprove them. Before beginning the fight, the referee will verify that both contenders use their protectors below the navel. So the protectors should be below the belly button. Some people say, oh yeah, Usyk, wear, Usyk wears his shorts high, which he has done. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to dispute that at all. He has. In a second AJ fight, I remember on the night, thinking, bloody hell, because you could see AJ's belly button in that second fight, but you couldn't see Usyk's. Uh, and he had a bigger band, he had a bigger band as well. Um, but I didn't, don't get me wrong, Usyk still won the fight, I'm not disputing that, you know, but I did, I remember thinking that also on the, on the Usyk fight night. But if you look at Daniel Dubois' shorts, you can't see his belly button either. 
<laughs> you know, he, he, people are saying, oh, but you, you, you couldn't see his belly button uh, against Dubois. But you couldn't see Dubois either. If you look, you cannot see Daniel Dubois' navel, his belly button. You can't see it. And again, I'm not blaming Daniel at all. I think a lot of boxers have done that before. It's just, it's like a preference thing or, you know, like, I guess, to perhaps to get around this whole body short, waist guard, uh, protector thing, whatever. But... I just think that argument, you've got to, you can't use that argument just because Daniel had his shorts over his navel as well. But now I'm going to look at the actual, I'm not going to look at the pictures because it is a motion. It's not a, I think you've got to look at the full motion of the punch. You can't just look at one angle and say, oh, but it landed there though. It landed there, it landed there. You've got to look at the whole motion. Because punches, they they move. They don't stay static. They don't. They don't, they do stay straight in a light straight line. But sometimes they don't, especially uppercuts. I don't think Daniel Dubois meant to do this either. I think it was a complete accident. Um, like I think Don Charles' trainer said, you know, they were drilling it and drilling it in camp. And I fully believe that because that is the best way you're going to beat Usyk. I don't care. He, he boxed poorly for me. He didn't use his double jab. He didn't use his advantage of being bigger. You, you go to his body. I think Anthony, jo Anthony, Anthony Joshua showed that a little bit in the second fight, but Daniel Dubois did, showed it really, really well in this fight. Um, that the best way to beat Usyk is to hit him in his body because his head's too quick. But it, obviously, his head, his body's wider than his head, so it's easier to hit. Now, when I watched that the first time, I thought, oh yeah, that yeah, that looked like a body shot. I can perfectly see. I can see why there is an outrage about it why some people think it was because when i saw that i was like oh yeah no that is that, that i thought a crack a body shot when i did well um so yeah from that angle looks like a body shot i'm not disputing that so Usyk is taking his time the three minutes and 45 seconds which you allow because the referee gives you five minutes again from that angle that look, looks fine now here we go here we go this is the one this is the one wait for it again now watch the watch the motion of the punch show it again you've got to remember the the protector is should be one inch below uh, the trunks should be one inch I've got a ruler right here one inch not a lot at all not a lot at all, literally one inch, that's barely anything. The trunk, sorry, should be one inch above the protector. So you look at the top of Alec Alexander Usyk shorts, the protector should be, according to the rules, it should be just one inch or more, but it should be one inch at the maximum below the top of his trunks. That The power of that shot, I know from the other angle on the other side, it looked like a body shot. 100% get that, but this is the best because you can see the you can see the full glove. Your, your, your power on the punch doesn't come from this. It comes from it comes from your knuckle. It comes from your knuckles, this side of your hand. It didn't come from from here. And the power of that punch in that motion in that shot that looks like it's on the protectors, one inch below the top of, the, of Alexander Usyk's trunks. WBA says uh, anything on the protect on the protector is considered sufficient protection so you still have to get up which he did he just took his time he, uh, I think he just played the game he just played the game and that's just it <laughs> the motion of that shot where it is on that angle which is the best angle that shows that I hit the protector which is deemed a low blow by the World Boxing Association based on the rules that I just read out from what I interpret it you might interpret it a different way I don't know how you can put, interpret it a different way, but how I interpret it and how I feel is that Daniel Dubois hit protector, which is deemed a legal, a legal sh that is deemed a, a low blow. That is a low blow, you know? If it was, if it, I would have felt, I, th I think it would have been worse if the punch was higher on the trunks. So if it was just like on the very top, yeah, that then that that is very Daniel Dubois would have been really really hard done by then. You know, I've like I said, I've looked at that bit ages so many times. 
I wanted to make sure I did this video a couple of days after it all happened, just because obviously when you first see it, emotions are high or whatever, and everyone's, oh, he's a cheat, he's a cheat, blah, 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 and Twitter's going mental. I don't know if anyone else sees it like this, but obviously on the Saturday night or the Sunday morning, everyone was saying, oh, Oops, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. I've noticed definitely on Twitter since then a lot more people are saying, oh no, that is a low blow, that is a low blow. So that's how I came to that conclusion as well. I've shown you exactly how. I just looked at the rules. Rules are rules, you know. Don't get me wrong, you can have opinions on whether the rules need to change. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But those are the rules and you've got to, you've got to abide by them in any sport, in any thing of life. There's rules in the cutting countries, blah, 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 it's the exact same. And yeah, I just think, I really think Daniel Dubois, I think it was completely accidental. I really think he didn't mean it. Um, and he shouldn't be gutted either, because I thought he put in a lot better performance than jo Anthony Joshua. I, I really thought he, he showed, but then again, obviously Joshua was the first, that, that was the first time we'd ever seen him sit a little bit hurt, I guess. but. You know, I think Dubois made it as comfortable, as uncomfortable as he could to be to be sitting there. Um, he just shouldn't. I, I'm seeing people say, "Oh, he quit, he quit, he quit." He, he's had like an orbital. I think it's like an orbital bone injury or whatever from the Joe Joyce fight or just before that. You know, you don't know what he could have been told. You know, if you take too many of that, you're gonna you're gonna have to take dry out. You don't know. You've got no idea. I don't think he quit anywhere. I thought it was a cracking shot by you sick and he landed it. And that's another thing. You don't you I bet you've ne you've never been hit by a punch. So how can you have a go at Daniel Lubois for quitting? Uh I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope they don't do I hope it, it doesn't turn into a no contest because I just I just really don't think it needs to be. But I want I wanna see Dubois 25, he's got loads of time on his side. I wanna see Usa versus Fury and I'm sure that's what most people want to see. Just get it done. Just so we know, you know, just just get it done. Just get it done. You need to get that fight done, or that's going to leave a big hole. Not just Usyk's, but in in Fury's legacy as well. I feel like Fury almost needs it more now after doing this Ngannou fight. I feel like he needs the Usyk fight even more. So the only other thing that I think could overturn it, although I I haven't heard it or whatever, is this clip. Like I've, I've seen Don Charles do a couple of interviews now. I did it, I saw him do it with the fighters right of Tundi Ajay, um, saying that, oh yeah, um, oh, we recorded the referee and we asked him, oh, can you make sure Usyk's shorts aren't really high or whatever. Still haven't heard it, but if there's any, if there's anything in that that makes, that makes it sound like uh, the referee did his job, didn't do his job properly, then yes. Of course, that is wrong. I don't think that's Usyk's fault. I think that's the referee's fault. Um, take it out on the referee, not Usyk. Anyway, this is a really, really long video, much longer than I usually like to do, but I felt like this point was worth it. Because it's a big fight. The proper big boy boxing, heavyweight fight, heavyweight uh, titles on the line, three heavyweight titles on the line. So much at stake for whoever won this fight. I think it needed this time to be looked at. And I would urge you all uh, not even to just listen to blindly just listen to me and disagree with me. Go and make your own mind up. Look at the WBA rules. I put them in the description down below. Look at the rules. Interpret them. You don't necessarily have to agree with me, but I don't see how you can't. Like the way I've interpreted it, I felt like I interpreted it the right way. But let me know anyway down in the comments and down below what you think. And go and look at the WBA rules of boxing.